Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In today's video, we will talk about solving problems involving right triangle. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So last time, we had a video, or we had a video that we uploaded about Pythagorean theorem, and that is under right triangle. At ayun yung magiging focus natin ngayon sa problems na to or sa mga problems na ma-encounter nyo within this video kasi we will solve problems involving right triangle pero ang i-apply muna natin ngayon is yung Pythagorean theorem. So I have here a problem. The bottom of a ladder must be placed 3 feet from the wall. The ladder is 12 feet long. How, how far? How far from the ground does the ladder touch the wall? Again, here's the problem. The bottom of the ladder must be placed 3 feet from the wall. The ladder is 12 feet long. How long from the ground does the ladder touch the wall? So, nag-drawing na ako dito na, ano, ng illustration ko para sa problem na to. Pero, di ba, normally naman, yung structure ng ating, yung placement ng ating wall, kapag nilagay siya sa, ano, sa lupa ay, normally, that is um, perpendicular to the ground. So, automatically, you can, you can think of na siya isang, Siya ay under ng right triangle. So dito, sabi dito, the bottom of the wall, the bottom of the ladder must be placed 3 feet from the wall. So, maglilin tayo dito kayo ng ladder, ito ladder natin. Tapos ito daw, distance ito, is 3 feet. Okay, the distance of the wall, of the feet of the ladder from the wall is 3 feet. Okay, and another clue that we have here, or given, is that the ladder is 12 feet long. So ito ay 12 feet yung haba ng ladder and here's the question how far from the ground does the ladder touch the wall so ganun daw kalayo itong ground sa point kung saan nagtouch si ladder sa wall kung saan uh, naglean let's say for example ito yung wall natin ito yung ladder natin ganun daw kataas itong point ito mula sa ground natin at yung pinapanap sa atin so ito yung i-represent natin bilang bilang value ng x Ito nyo, sir, paano natin solve yung gamit ang Pythagorean theorem? Kung mapansin nyo, diba, sabi ko nga kanina, yung ground natin at yung mismong wall is perpendicular to each other. So therefore, you can reimagine a right triangle in this given problem. So if this is right triangle, diba, ang gagamitin natin ngayon ay Pythagorean theorem. So you can still remember this theorem. You have this c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared we're in yung C natin, this is your hypotenuse or the longest side of the right triangle while your A and B are the legs. Dito naman, sa problem natin, yung hypotenuse natin, we have the value of your hypotenuse which is 12 feet, your C, which is 12 feet. So bakit po siya naging hypotenuse? Siya kasi yung, ano, yung opposite to your, uh, to your right angle. Ito yung right angle natin, so this is your hypotenuse. So ngayon, ano nga wala sa atin yung legs? So we can represent your your A B equal to 3 feet and yung B natin that will be your X. So we can substitute these values to the formula. So we have here 12 feet squared is equal to your A which is 3 feet. We have 3 feet squared plus Yung B natin, which is x, that is x squared. And now, we need to simplify this equation. 12 squared natin is the same as 12 times 12. So it will become 144 feet squared. Okay? And this equal to, yung ating uh, 3 feet, it will become 9 feet. Kasi yung 3, squared na, 3 feet squared natin is the same as 3 times, a uh, 3 feet, times 3 feet. And this one is plus x squared. So what I'm doing here, I will transpose 9 feet squared to the other side of the equation. And our new equation will become 144 feet squared minus 9 feet squared is equal to x squared. Simplify natin to, it will give us 135 feet squared is equal to x squared. And since our target here is to calculate for the value of x. We need to get the square root of this. 
your x, ito ha, your x is equal to, you can use your calculator guys. Pero, um, if you want to express your answer in radical form, this is the same as 3 times the square root of 15 feet. Kasi, um, factors nito ng 135 natin, that is the same as 135, the factors are the square root of 9 times 15. And we know naman that 9 is a perfect square, so it, that is 3. And 15 is not a perfect square, and without a factor, so that will become 3 square root of 15 feet, or, pwede rin naman siya, or, pwede rin siya bilang 11.61. And since whole, whole number yung ating mga uh, given, here round off ko siya bilang whole number, so this will become, and then, sige, 11.61 na lang tayo, 11.61 feet. So we have here 11.61 feet. Ito na yung mismong ito na yung mismong distance ng point kung saan nag-touch si wall at yung ating uh, yung ating ladder from the ground. So this is equal to 11.61 feet. At yung sagot natin. So, in the next part of our video, I'm giving you another problem which involves right triangle and we will solve that using Pythagorean theorem. Let's have example number two in solving problems involving right triangle using Pythagorean theorem. So, we have here a problem. A baseball diamond is a square that is 90 feet on each side. If a player throws the ball from the second, the second base, to home, how far will the ball travel? So, nag-drawing na ako dito ng isang diamond, which is a square. So, sabi dito, uh, the square that is 90 feet on each side, meaning the sides of, or the length of these sides is equal to 90 feet. This is 90 feet. This is also 90 feet. This is 90 feet. This is also 90 feet. So, Ito yung mga places or yung mga bases natin na. This is your home. This is your first base. Second base. Third base. In a baseball diamond. So here's the problem. If a player throws the ball from the second base, here, from the second base to the home or to home, how far the ball, the ball will travel. So, parang tinatawang sa atin dito, gano'n daw kalaya yung distance ng point na ating second second base sa home. So, we can reimagine here two right angle, two right triangles because since this one is a square, lahat ng angles nito, lahat ng angles nito ay right angle. So, kung papansin natin mabuti kung mag-focus lang tayo dito, again, kung mag-focus lang tayo sa triangle na to, this one is a right triangle problem. Actually, we can do two possible solutions. Gagamitin, sige, gagamitin ko mamaya yung, Pitag gagamitin yung Pythagorean theorem, and we will use the concept about special triangle, special right triangles. So, first, start muna tayo sa ating, ano, sa ating Pythagorean theorem, and we will represent this as x. So, we have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So if you want to calculate this using the Pythagorean theorem, we can do that. So sabihin natin yung, yung a and b natin, actually yung pinapanap sa atin yung hypotenuse eh. So yung c natin is x, yung a natin is equal to 90 feet. Yung b natin is also equal to 90 feet. So, substituting these values, this is x squared is equal to 90 feet squared plus 90 feet squared. And yung 90 feet natin, you can use your calculator para mas maging mabilis yung ating calculation. Yung 90 feet natin is the same as 90 times 90. So, that is equal to x squared is equal to 
8,100 plus 8,100. Get na feet. Squared plus feet squared. Pag inad natin to, 8,100 times, ah, sorry, plus 8,100. That is definitely x squared is equal to 16,200 feet squared. Na kung saan, pag kinuha niya square root nito, this is x. At ito naman, ay pwede siyang i-express bilang ganito ah. Uh, 8,100 times 2 feet. Magiging ano siya, feeling, ito eh, 90 square root of 2 feet. Pero kung gusto mo makuha yung ano, kung gusto mo makuha yung kung gusto mo makuha yung kanyang decimal, pwede rin naman gawin natin uh, the square root of 16,200 and that will give you the answer of that will give you the answer of, of x is equal to when natin one decimal place 127.3 Ito na nga yung possible natin na uh, in distance ng second base papunta sa home nung binato ng uh, baseball player yung mismong bola. So, ito yung gamit ng ating Pythagorean Theorem. Eh sir, kanina sabi niyo po sa amin, you can use the concept of special right triangles. Yes. Since alam naman natin na ito yung special right, ang, right triangle, ito papakita ko sa inyo ha. Meron tayong property sa Meron tayong property sa mismong um, square. Nakapag, ito kasi diagonal to. Nakapag binaysak siya ng diagonal yung kanyang angles. Uh, Mahahat magbaysak ito 45 degree. And this is also 45 degree. 45, 45. So basically, kung mapansin nyo, nakapag form tayo ng uh, 45, 45, 45, 90 special right triangle. We're in, kapag na drawing tayo ng 45, 45, 90, Gila natin dito. Ayan. 45, 45, 90. Ang relationship kasi nila guys, since ito ay 90, di ba? 90 feet. Ito ay 90 feet. To get the hypotenuse of this side, the hypotenuse ha, which is ito yung hinahanap natin, simply multiply the measurement of your leg by the square root of 2. That's why your answer is 90 feet, 90 square root of 2 feet. So, ayun na yun. Mapansin doon para sila. So, we can use the concept of the Pythagorean theorem at the same time, the concept behind the special right triangles, which is 45, 45, 90. So, marami pa tayo pa na explore with regards to right triangle kasi napaka-applicable ng konsepto na itong right triangle ito or yung Pythagorean theorem when it comes to mathematics and even sa geometry. So, kung meron kang request a topic that you want to discuss within this channel, feel free to comment down below para nabasa ko ito at magawan ko ng video. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!